Gospel for Unreached. Our mission is to spread the good news to the whole world through the internet. Jesus commissioned his disciples to go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Mark 16, 15. Come, let us join our hands and hearts to reach the, the lost and tell them the love of Jesus. Therefore, go and make disciples to all nations. Life-changing sermons in several languages, CD, DVD, MP3, and Bible tracts are available free of cost. And if you would like to learn more and get involved with our ministry or sponsor a missionary orphan, please feel free to contact us by email at gospelunreached at yahoo.com or call us at 310-408-2823. Your comments and suggestions are very valuable to our ministry. We enjoy hearing from our visitors. Thanks for visiting. Please come back and visit us soon. May the Lord richly bless you. Thank you. taking the track. You'll be blessed by the track tonight. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want to tell you, hallelujah, no matter how cold it is, when Jesus comes in, you'll feel the warmth of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If Jesus comes in your heart, your life will never be safe. Don't reject him. Hallelujah. It's more than you feel your kind of love. The love of God supersedes every other love. That's the agape love of God. And I've come all the way to tell you, the love of God is greater than any human love. Hallelujah. And that's why God sent Jesus to die on the cross for you. It wasn't easy, but he carried that cruel cross. It wasn't easy, but Jesus' love is such that he was willing to leave heaven and come to earth. He came down all the way, hallelujah. He lived 2,000 years ago in the very land called Jerusalem. He came down all the way in Bethlehem, and he was born, hallelujah. For 33 and a half years, he lived his life. And if you and I know history. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus. It's the center of the world. Hallelujah. It's the only place. It's neither east nor west. Hallelujah. And if you know in the Middle East. Hallelujah. If you come to Israel. Hallelujah. You will know that Jesus was born a Jew. He was a son of a carpenter. He was a son of a foster father called Joseph. Hallelujah. He lived for 33 and a half years. He came down to for that one reason that a son of man may seek and save that which was lost. Hallelujah. That which was being lost through Adam's sin, Jesus restored it because he was the second Adam that came down from heaven. Oh, praise be to God. He loves you, beloved. Hallelujah. He is coming back again to judge the living and the dead. If you reject him today, most probably you may never hear this gospel. It's a sweet gospel. It's a caring gospel. It's a gospel of salvation. It's a gospel of life. It's a gospel of, of, of redeeming your soul from hellfire. If you reject him today, most probably on that day, hallelujah, you will have to shame. You'll have to be in shame, hallelujah. So do not reject that gospel. I've come all the way to tell you the gospel is good news. I've come all the way to tell you the gospel will save you. The gospel is the power of God and his salvation. Tonight, beloved, if you're passing by, you're not passing by by chance. God ordained it this day that this day, this moment you will pass through Santa Monica and you're not hearing this gospel for the first time you've heard this gospel many times many people have rejected this gospel many people have lost the salvation because they once went to church if you don't go to church please find a Bible believing church if you don't know which church to go come and talk to one of our volunteers right here we will tell you which church to go to hallelujah Jesus is the only way to heaven Jesus is the only way my beloved hallelujah I love you with all my heart hallelujah but you know what hallelujah if you're in love with somebody if you're in love with somebody you will lay down your life. And that's exactly what God did. He came down all the way to lay down his life for your sins. Hallelujah. He came down to 
lay down his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. That is exactly what the Bible says. He came down and he laid down his life for you. Beloved, this is the word of God. I read to you from John chapter 10 verses 9. And the Bible says that he is the door. If you enter through that door, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you want to be saved, this is my opportunity. This is an invitation for you. Receive Jesus in your heart tonight. No matter how sinful you are, no matter how far you've gone away from God, God is asking you to return back to Him. He loves you, my brother. Hallelujah. No matter how far you've gone away from God, He cares about you. And the Word of God says in John chapter 10, verses 9, that He is the door. And Jesus said, if by me any man can enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The pasture, the green pastures. Hallelujah. This world will rot again. This water you drink will make you more thirsty. Hallelujah. But Jesus offers you living waters. He is the bread of life. He is the only way. He is the only way. The only truth. The only life. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. And by the way, let me tell you something more about him. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. We read in our, uh, in our our history that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. If you are a sinner, hallelujah, you can be saved. Jesus didn't come for the righteous people. He came for sinners like you and me. Hallelujah. If you believe, hallelujah, you will be saved. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The only way is Jesus. The only truth is Jesus. The only life is Jesus. And if you want to be born again, we are more than glad to pray with you and ask you to invite Jesus into your heart. Hallelujah. He will give you meaning and purpose in your life. Hallelujah. The Bible says he came to give you abundant life. Hallelujah. The word of God says in John 10.10, 10, I have come that I might give you life and give it more abundantly. But you know what? The, the, there is bad news on one side. The bad news is the devil wants to kill you. The devil wants to rob you. The devil wants to destroy you. And the Bible says the devil comes to kill and to rob and to destroy. If you are anything to do in your life with killing, rob, and destroying is of the devil. There but go. God says that Jesus came to give you abundant you life. Okay. How can you reject right, this abundant life? Hallelujah. That's the good news, my beloved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the enemy, has, the enemy has stripped many people of the abundant life of God because we don't give our heart to Jesus. If you reject Jesus, you are destined for eternal fire. That's what the Word of God says. That's what the Bible says. And if you believe God with all your heart, you will be saved. The Bible says, Whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Because He is the door. He is the door. The only door. And if you enter through that door, you will be saved. You will be saved. You will be saved. Glory be to God. There's an anointing in this place. If you passing by. No matter what, how sick you are, God can heal your sickness. No matter how wounded you are, God can heal your heart. No matter how how dejected you are, how rejected you are, how lonely you are, how frustrated you are, God is a cure. God has a medicine for you. The medicine of His Word. And so tonight all you need is by faith to receive Jesus in your heart. And He promises you the way. He promises you the way to eternal life. He promises you that if you enter through that door you will be saved. There are many ways by the way. There are many ways that will mislead you. And I'm not going to talk to you about the many ways that will this, that will take you to hell. But broad is the way that leads to destruction. The Bible says broad is the way that leads to destruction, but narrow is the way that leads to life. You may sound, it may sound foolish, but I want to tell you, God chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And by the way, the word of God says, narrow is the way that leads to life. Hallelujah. And few will find it. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many are going that way. Do not reject Jesus. Do not reject Jesus. He loves you. He cares about you. He gave 
his life for you. He gave his blood for you. He bought you with a price. Never glorify God in your body and in your spirit that belong to him. Hallelujah. Man is made up of three components. You have a spirit, you have a soul, and you have a body. But I want to tell you the good news is he came to redeem you. He came to save your soul. He came to deliver you from the power Hallelujah, glory be to God. And that's why I'm here to tell you that your soul can be redeemed only by the blood of Jesus. No other, no other way that you can wash your sins away. Hallelujah. Lots of people do a lot of meditation and yoga and a lot of phony things. But I want to tell you the good news is the blood of Yeshua can cleanse you from all sin. God loves you, sister. Hallelujah. Give her a try. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you so much. If you want to be born again, I wonder if our volunteers are there to pray with you right away. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. If you've never gone to any church, it's time you go to the right church. It's time you come to know Jesus. It's time you come to know that the that, 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 that there will come a time when you will not get another opportunity. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus is the door. He is knocking at your heart's door. If you will open the heart of your life, if you will open the area of your life that's closed tonight. He will fill you with peace. He will fill you with joy unspeakable and full of glory. He is a blessing. Hallelujah. He came all the way from heaven to give you eternal life. He came all the way from heaven to change your destiny forever. Yes, God loves you, sister. Hallelujah. God loves you, brother. Hallelujah. No matter where you are, no matter where you come from, but there's only one way. His name is Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible says Hallelujah. He is the Prince of Peace. The Bible says, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But the government shall be upon his shoulders. Hallelujah. The word of God says that when Jesus came to earth, hallelujah, for the first time, hallelujah, the Jews they rejected him. And because the Jews rejected him, that gospel was preached to the Gentiles. You and I who are Gentiles, you and I who were who were once uh, not, not of the promised seed, were able to come through the door and we see Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't reject Jesus. He loves you very much. He cares about you. He is the only way. He is the only truth. He is the only life. And if you receive him tonight, your life will never be the same. Oh, glory be to God. Your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabba Shiko He loves you. He cares about you. He knows your need. He knows your desire. If you have a sickness, we can pray for you. This Jesus, I believe, will heal your sickness. Hallelujah. There's nothing. He can even touch your dog and heal your dog. Because he has the power. He has the anointing. There is an anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The anointing will break the yoke of bondage. The anointing will destroy every demonic activity in your life. He loves even dogs and kittens. Hallelujah. But no dog or kitten is going to go to heaven. Because the dog and the kitten doesn't have a soul. But you and I need to get to heaven. Because you have a living soul. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Some people are more concerned to take their dogs and kittens to heaven. But I want to tell you, your dogs and kittens don't need to go to heaven. You and I need to get to heaven. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There's only one. Some people treat the dog like G-O-D becomes a, a G-O-D. G-O-D becomes a D-O-G. And D-O-G becomes a G-O-D. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, I don't treat God like a dog, but I treat him as the king of kings and the Lord of Lords. I treat him as the Holy One. I treat him as the Living One. I don't treat God like a dog. Hallelujah. That I put him in a trash can and throw him away. He is the Living Waters. He is the Holy God. He is the Living God. Oh, beloved, He loves you very much. He cares about you. He cares about your need. He cares about what you're walking and shopping and doing all those shopping things is very good on the surface. But let me tell you, don't lose your direction. Don't lose your direction. The only direction is Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to take a break now, but I'm going to ask my good brother to continue to preach the word of God. He's a